what a big boy, huh? It's a very special day for Ashland, Massachusetts native Dan Perlman and his grandson, Maddie. I'm not sure he knows what it's about. As a matter of fact, I am sure he doesn't know what it's about. But his grandfather and grandmother, they know. They know today is Maddie's first Halloween, an exciting time for grandpa and grandson alike. Dan stays active, thanks in part to all the fun he has with his grandson, but he wants to make sure the good times will continue for years to come. Dan sees his doctor regularly to help keep tabs on his high blood pressure, and all of his information, including his last vital signs, is kept in an electronic health record, technology he readily embraces. To me, any vehicle, you know, the use of technology to streamline, you know, that communication in any way is, is worth its weight in gold. David Bates is Chief of General Internal Medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, and Dan's personal physician. Tell me about what's been going on. I'm feeling pretty well. Medicine is changing very fast, and it is effectively impossible for any individual provider to keep up with all the changes in medicine. These major changes can come in the form of new guidelines for treating certain conditions, what studies a patient might be eligible for, or even information about medication recalls. An electronic health record has built-in features that can provide all of this up-to-date information to the physician as he's seeing a patient. That's actually one of the big benefits of electronic records because you can take the information that people need and make it available to the provider uh, uh, very, very rapidly, bring it very close to the point of care. Dr. Bates is known around the world as one of the top patient safety researchers. He says the United States has some catching up to do in terms of the widespread use of electronic medical records. The U.S. really is behind in this area. Most of the rest of the, of the developed world is already using electronic health records in the outpatient setting. Electronic records also impact the way patients communicate with their health care providers. At my convenience, I can go in uh, in, a, in an online, very secure way, 7 by 24, anytime, and access my medical record, you know, and check when my next appointment is, check what prescriptions I'm taking, uh, request a referral. Uh, if there's something that I'm worried about and I have some symptoms that I don't think it's really requires a physician's attention, I can go into their health database and, and search on certain things. I just find it, you know, terrific. Electronic prescribing is another feature designed to improve patient safety, partly by eliminating the need to interpret a physician's handwriting. Doctors choose prescriptions in correct dosages on the screen, and they're transmitted electronically. Uh, penicillin. Uh, the medication will come up and here I get a warning showing that this patient is, ha has a relevant allergy. This patient has had a very serious reaction to a related drug, which means that they should never be given penicillin. Right now, there are only a handful of states using these kinds of records in a widespread manner. But the goal of the U.S. government is that all health care providers use some form of this technology in the next 10 years.